Here's the thing about New Yorkers. They're really, really competitive. So, how do you get more New Yorkers playing lotto? You make it a competition. You'd make a way better rich person. And to prove it, we found all the different types of stupidly rich people in New York and made a guidebook cataloging them. There's the grown-up child star, the art-collecting conversation controller, and the reclusive artiste. The field guide was also available online, complete with quizzes to see exactly which rich person you'd be better than if you were rich. Some of New York's craziest rich people then found their way into films. I have such enormous respect for these creatures which is why I stuff them and hang them on the walls. A New York man buys $80 gold staples to staple expensive things. See, the gold staple, it's probably worth more now. Yes, I'm sitting in wine. It's a 2011 Pinot Noir from the Noir region. Thank you, Remy. You're welcome, sir. A New York millionaire spent $714,000 to learn how to be a pet whisperer. What? Oh. <laughs> You'd make a way better rich person. The stories of rich excess made it to the streets on outdoor posters. The campaign reached over 90% of New Yorkers with more than 984 million impressions on richpeopleguide.com. Users spent an average of almost five minutes on the site. On Facebook, we reached 3.6 million new impressions from non-fans. Since the campaign launch, lotto sales have increased 16%. That's an incremental revenue of over $3.2 million to date. I'm so sorry you had to see this.